Moving on, the Supreme Court has come down hard on the presiding officer who oversaw the controversial Chandigarh mayoral polls. Presented with a video of the proceedings by the AAP, Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrajood said it is obvious that the presiding officer defaced the ballot papers. The CJ added Anil Masse ran away like a fugitive while looking at the cameras and he should be prosecuted for his actions. The bench, headed by the CJI, questioned the entire counting process, terming it as mockery and murder of democracy. The Supreme Court has ordered the entire proceedings of vote counting to be handed over to the Punjab and Haryana High Court. The court has also put on hold the budget session of the Chandigarh civil body scheduled for Wednesday. The Supreme Court also pulled up by the Punjab and Haryana High Court, questioning their failure to give out an interim order on plea seeking stay on poll results. The notice has also been issued to Chandigarh Administration, Civic Body Chief and Punjab DGP and the matter will be heard on February 12th. Now, the stinging remarks by the Supreme Court were made in response to AAP's plea challenging the Punjab and Haryana High Court order that refused to stay the mayoral poll results. New video surfaces showing him signing the ballot paper and looking towards the camera. So obviously the truth always prevails. The observation from the Honorable Supreme Court is welcoming and we are all happy about it. But we will take it to the lo logical conclusion until we make the mayor from Ahmadmi Party and Congress combine. We will not rest. That is number one. On the other side, the person who did this criminal act, who sabotaged the democracy, must be held accountable, must be held responsible for it, must not be let off. आज मुडली सुनवाई में पहली सुनवाई में उन्हें बोला कि जो अधिकारी है उसके ऊपर तुरंत मुकदमा दर्ज होना चाहिए तो अब मैं समझता हूं एक टेस्ट की घड़ी है एक और देखते हैं बीजेपी उस अधिकारी को बचाती है या मुकदमा दर्ज करती है तो इससे पता चलता है कि देश में लोकतंत्र खतरे में है बीजेपी देश के लोकतंत्र की जितनी भी इंस्टीट्यूशन है उनको एक एक करके खत्म कर रही है तो मैं समझता हूं आज देश को बचाने के लिए सुप्रीम कोर्ट को बोलना पड़ा